three uh, developments within the last 24 hours viewers firstly uh, we'll talk about Bani Shangal Gumaz region of Ethiopia where there is Ethiopian dam good grand Ethiopian Renaissance dam BG is strategically very important it shares a border with Sudan it shares border with uh, Amhara region where fighting is underway between TDF and Amhara forces. Reportedly over the past few days, uh, security situation in BG has worsened. We'll talk about that. Secondly, Damake McConnell, uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Ethiopia has addressed UN General Assembly uh, PM Abi did not uh, attend this session of General Assembly, UN General Assembly. He sent uh, Damake McConnell who delivered a speech there. What did he say? We'll talk about that. Lastly, we have an update about Ibnath uh, Mde Work Bridge. Uh, has it been repaired? Uh, it seems it has been repaired now. And some places uh, to the north of uh, uh, M they work have been taken, have been captured by Tigray Defense Force. We'll talk about that too. Firstly, it was BG Banishangal Gumaz region of Ethiopia, strategically one of the most important regions because Ethiopia has built a dam here. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Uh, the, the region shares border with Sudan and with Amhara region where fighting is going on between TDF and Amhara forces. Over the past few weeks, a security situation in Bene Shangal Gomez has deteriorated. Fighting is going on in several places between uh, Gomez fighters and uh, Ethiopian government security officials in Matakal and in Asosa zones reportedly uh, Gomez fighters have taken control of some areas. Amhara militias have entered BG as well. They want to stop uh, Gomez fighters from getting close to Amhara BG border. Uh, but attacks by these Gumas fighters on government forces, they are continuing viewers. And uh, according to ENDF uh, sources, attacks from Sudan are also being carried out uh, a few days ago. Ethiopian government officials had said that uh, uh, some TDF fighters had tried to infiltrate BG from Sudan. Overall, the situation in BG is not satisfactory, viewers. And uh, Ethiopian Human Rights Commission has also issued a statement about security situation in BG. Ethiopian Human Rights Commission says that uh, locals are being arbitrarily arrested by forces in BG without trial, they are being kept in custody, it should stop. Uh, secondly, words, Damake McConnell, Deputy Prime Minister of Ethiopia, has addressed UN General Assembly, uh, 76th session of UN General Assembly is underway. PM Abi did not uh, attend this session. He sent uh, Damake Mekon, Deputy Prime Minister of Ethiopia, to address this session. Joe Biden, US President, addressed the session. I shared a video with you uh, two days ago, uh, in which uh, uh, Joe Biden was heard condemning human rights abuses in Ethiopia, Xinjiang, China, and some other parts of the world. Damake McConnell uh, in his speech said uh, that Ethiopia will uh, try to protect its sovereignty, its political independence, its territorial integrity. It will resist colonial reflexes, colonial legacies. Uh, take a listen to what Damake McConnell said, then we'll talk about uh, and they were 
к Ибнат Бридж. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, a hydroelectric dam project we fully financed underwent a second year filling. Hopefully, we inspired others to develop local capability to plan, finance, and complete renewable energy projects. However, our humble attempt to light the house of millions of Ethiopians and create hope for our use is politicized before global bodies. This people's project also received unending threats. Ironically, we are accused and threatened for drinking from our water. On the matter of the Nile and the Gert, our confidence is in the might of the truth, wisdom, and justice that has always defined our path for cooperation. The generational desire to use our natural resource will not be stopped by a colonial legacy and monopolistic cause. We hope our negotiating partners are prepared for a win-win outcome under the African-led process. The government of Ethiopia meeting out its obligation to fulfill humanitarian needs, the declaration of humanitarian ceasefire, the commissioning of investigations, and accountability measures have not mitigated the propaganda campaigns. At this stage, we are nearly convinced humanitarian assistance is a pretext for advancing political considerations. Accused by agenda and revenue-driven media, convicted by misguided politics, we are now facing a unilateral coercive measure. Ethiopia opposed coercive measure. When it was applied against others, we advise against its application on Ethiopia. Lastly, viewers, an important update uh, from South Gondar, a Vog Himra border. Uh, a key bridge connecting South Gondar and Vog Himra was blown up by Amhara forces a couple of days ago because TDF was advancing from Vog Himra towards South Gondar. But the bridge could not be completely destroyed. You can see the pictures, uh, one picture of partially destroyed bridge. You can see that the bridge is not completely destroyed. It, it's possible. I mean, though heavy weaponry uh, cannot pass, cannot cross, but uh, I think people can cross this bridge on foot. Uh, now, reportedly, according so to some uh, Tigray news sources, the bridge has been repaired. Now, the bridge is functional and once again, Tigray Defense Force uh, is starting its advance into South Gondar. ADF wants Ibnat. From Ibnat, it will move towards uh, Addis Zaman. And Zaman is along the main road which connects Bahirdar with Gondar. If TDF captures Adi Zaman, it means it has cut off uh, strategic Bahirdar Gondar road. Secondly, viewers, uh, reportedly Tigray Defense Force has taken control of some areas to the north of Amde work as well. Two places are being mentioned which have been captured by Tigray Defense Force to the north of M. Devak. Firstly, Chile Hio. Uh, secondly, Gulth. We're not uh, sure about Gulth, but reportedly Chile Hio to the north of uh, M. Devak has come under Tigray Defense Force. Now, Tigray Defense Force is all set to cross this bridge. M. Devak, uh, uh, Ibnath bridge uh, to penetrate South Gondar. But Amara forces, ENDF, have made some heavy deployments in Ibnath viewers. So it wouldn't be easy for TDF to capture Ibnath. TDF has not taken Ibnath so far viewers. Uh, there is presence of thousands of IDPs in Ibnath as well. Yesterday we saw a video of uh, IDPs in Ibnath who had fled Amdevak, Vaghimra. 
they are in Ibnath. So there is presence of IDPs in Ibnath, there is deployment of uh, ENDF and Amhara force in Ibnath as well. Let's see, uh, can TDF cross this bridge to take control of Ibnath? We'll see in coming days. I think for you.